and welcome back to the crochet crowd and allfreecrochet.com and allfreeknitting.com this is the very first time where I'm combining the crochet and the loom knitting together into one project and basically what I'm doing is I'm making a scarf and now the scarf is done with uh, Bernat Boa yarn it's actually it was pretty reasonable stuff to work with so we actually used a, just a, uh, one ball of black it wasn't even a whole ball, it was only not even a half. And then we used almost a, a regular size ball of the boa and the color. And then we used um, the Bernat um, Super Saver just as a filler for, as, for it. So the whole purpose of the scarf basically is to wrap around your neck. So you can see just like so, just wrap it around. And so it's like the flower is going to puke. <laughs> it's, so you want to just bring your, your scarf through the center, just like so. So now you have lots of options now that you've done that. You can leave it down just for like a big fluff in front of you. <laughs> or you can move it up tight to your neck. So basically now you have a beautiful uh, flower in front of you. So again, visualize this in colors that you like for yourself. So then the other one just freely hangs. Or you know, you could toss it over the top as well. So you have your big bow you could toss over. Um, you could also just um, move it to the side. Just like so. So it's a very uh, multi-usable pattern. And again, and you can move it to the side and then loop it up, just like so as well. So it's a very, very fun idea. Very, very simple. So it's a crochet uh, motif at the top, loom knitted tail that comes out through the center. And again, a very quick project. And join me in the studio in just a few seconds and we'll show you how to do this project. And welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. And today I have the flower that I was wearing outside. And uh, this is a really neat thing. So you have the hole in the middle in order for the partial of the scarf to actually work its way through. You can see it's really fabulous. So this is a combination of two things. It's a crochet motif that's in the center with a hole in it to allow the scarf to actually fit its way through, as well as a loom knitted, and this is the crystal or uh, snow buddy design that we did. So after you're done this motif, you can go to my other tutorial and learn how to do this. And on, on the very back, you just want to fasten it right there. So you don't want to fasten it on the on closer to the center because you don't want to see that in the center, right? If this is the side that you're looking at. So just again, just fasten it to the outside. And uh, let's get going on this brilliant tutorial. And like this yarn here, we're using the Bernat okay boa yarn and we used nearly a whole ball of that okay we had a little bit left over about three quarters of that and we just touched really briefly on the Bernat boa black but you know you can't learn because you can't see the stitches with this stuff so I'm going to be using the Bernat softy chunky in order to create this motif so let's get going on this fabulous tutorial to create this motif you're going to need a chain of 60 so let's wrap it around our finger twice to create the slip knot this is the back of my hand this is the front so I always say take the back over the forward one now that's the new back one push it up over your finger and there's slower tutorials available on my crochet crowd website in order to figure that out so let's uh, chain now we're going to do a total of 60 so what I would do is probably go this never counts as one so we do just go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Okay, so what I want you to do is go all the way to 60, please, and I'm just going to fast forward the video uh, to 60, and then we're going to pick up from there. So just uh, bear with me for a second. Put me on pause as you figure your way out to 60. I now have a chain of 60. So what I want you to do now is that we want to work our way back across, so we're just going to work our way toward that way. So let's uh, put our finger right below the actual knot. Okay, so we'll be right below the hook and pinch it, just like so. This is how I've done, instead of counting back, I like to pinch, and that's where my first stitch will be. So let's count up three, everybody. So one, two, and three, we're chaining. Okay, so my very first stitch is going to be right in that bad boy. So it's a wrap, so we're going to do a double crochet and go right into that stitch. Okay, I'm grabbing it through, and then pull through two and two. And so now what I want you to do is chain three. So one, two, and three. So looking on the thing, skip a stitch. So it's that one. We're going to skip and go to the very next one for another double crochet again into the chain. Grabbing it through. So now you have three on your hook. Pull through two and two. And now chain three again. So one, two, and three. So what's happening here, folks, is that we're going to skip the next one. We're going to go 
to the second one over just like we just did pull through two and two so now because we are jumping only one here and we're adding three here it's going to cause it to actually do a rotation so one two and three and what I want you to do is go all the way across this line skipping one every other one putting in a double crochet and then chaining three okay so one two and three skip I feel like I'm playing uno here so skip and then pull through two so double crochet so continue along the entire line like that everybody and we'll meet you up at the very end okay so I'm coming up in the very end and I just happen to be one left over so you know what you can either just take it out so you can either this is how people can do it like um, for example say you, you didn't have enough stitches or you did too many and your pattern's not working out, you can just pull it out like so. Okay, so then you can just do that and tighten it back up and then what we can just do now is turn. So that was kind of a sneaky way of doing it. So you can see that the material is wanting to naturally bend on its own and now we're almost done our project but this uh, row is going to be a little more time consuming than the last one. So what I want you to do now is that I want you to uh, double crochet so I need you to chain up three. So that was I already did one two and three and so what I want you to do is double crochet nine times into this particular gap so wrapping the material going right into the hole itself okay and we just want to double crochet ourselves okay so that's so the first one was the chain so that counts as one so one two three four five six, seven, eight, and nine. So look how many, look it just wants to bend by itself. So that's excellent. So let's go to the next one. So what we want to do is go nine again. So what we want to do is keep going nine on each one and work our way across. So that was three. Four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Okay, so just keep going like that, and that, because there's so many going in, will cause it to have a ruffle and be very desirable when it's all said and done. So let's keep going, and we're going to do nine. So I keep going, everybody, and I'll turn the camera off, and we'll meet back at the end when we have nine in every slot along the way. Okay, so we just finished off the very edge. Now just pull out the string just like so, so there's lots of material, and put down your hook. And now let's make this where we finish the very front of the actual flower as you can see there. So just continually rotate it so that you end up getting a circle. So you'll have to uncoil this as we go. So keep this string stuff on top, okay, where you finished and you want to make sure you don't you want to keep your strings out from the center as well. So just kind of wrapping it just like so. So you don't need to be too worried about the actual uh, interior, uh, interior diameter yet. You just want to get it wrapped up into the shape so that you can at least make a judgment call at that time. So just continually wrapping it in a circle and you don't have to match up the actual uh, pieces together either. So you, want, you might want to keep that pretty random. So again, just continue to uncoil. So the coiling effect is what is giving the multiple tier. And so basically the center of the diameter is up to you. So if you want a big diameter, then you don't wrap it as tight. And if you don't, if you got too tight, now that is way too tight, I can see. So I'm just going to continually wrap it so it's all organized. And now I'm just going to shift. Now I'm just going to push it out a little bit. Just like so, push the coil out. Okay, so I'm just kind of rotating it in the opposite direction that I just wrapped it in to give it more flexibility. So if the interior is too small, what's going to happen is that that scarf is never going to work its way through. So try to get at least at least three. So, so kind of push it out. And you will see a little bit of a ruffling effect, which is good. You know, flowers are never flat, so, so just continue to rotate it out just like so. 
So I determined that two fingers basically is a good size for me. <laughs> and uh, here we go. So I've left my strings on top and uh, let's do our next point. Okay, so now grabbing your hook, just grab where you made that big loop. You don't want to shift this project too much at this point. So just dive right into a center hole, just like so, and just line them all the way up. And try to make sure that the center where you're diving in here matches to the exterior one that is finishing. Okay, and now this is requires a little bit of trickiness, but now you got to shift in order to get this string here. You kind of got to use your fingers back here back here and pull it through just to wrap your your hook okay so you just want to wrap the hook okay and now we want to pull that string all the way through okay now the string is back on this side okay and now just single crochet it so you got it through and now pull through okay so just dive again to the back all the way through all the tiers, don't miss any along the way, and I missed the secondary one, so just reshift it, and again, and again pulling the string toward the back, so just pull it from the front, just pull it back, okay, now I pulled it to the back, wrap the hook, and pull it through, okay, and now I want to pull that string back up, pull it tight, and again, single crochet ourselves shut. Okay, so just work yourself all the way in a circle and make sure that uh, you don't forget anything in behind and don't un let it unravel. And uh, it requires a little bit of patience in order to do this effectively. And you don't need to, just because you got 50 in here doesn't mean you have to go around 50 times. You can be uh, pretty sporadic with that at the same time. So let's uh, work on that and we'll work on our next step in a few seconds.